Today we're going to look at Locum Smart Consolidated Billing. This is a new feature we've been developing and we're very excited about it. So in order to turn on Consolidated Billing, you'll need to reach out to Locum Smart. We can turn it on for you and you can check that by clicking Administration and Features. And you'll see there Consolidated Billing is on. Once we confirm that Consolidated Billing has been turned on, the next step is to go to Billing and set up our Consolidated Billing account. That's under Billing Accounts, Consolidated, and then we just click on the name of our healthcare organization. And then on the right, it'll show us all the options. You'll see here that I already have a payment method in, but here is what the screen looks like when you need to enter a payment method. You'll need all this information to set up your Consolidated Billing account. Now back to our consolidated billing. We can now adjust the settings such as how often the consolidated invoice is delivered, who gets the invoices delivered to them, and those can be users on LocumSmart, or you can just attach email addresses as well for non-users of LocumSmart. Additionally, you can set up how many days are required before payment is sent what the maximum amount for a single transaction is, and if the payments should automatically be made. Automatic payment is the recommended and default setting for Locum's Mark Consolidated Billing. Now that we've reviewed the settings, we can move on to invoices. If we go over to the left, under invoices, we can see Consolidated and Vendor. I'm going to click Vendor first and view what the vendor invoices look like. The first column shows you what consolidated invoice the vendor invoice appears on. So since some of these have not been consolidated, they do not have a consolidated invoice they appear on. If we click the consolidated invoice link, we will be able to download the entire consolidated invoice and see all the vendor invoices that appear on it. So I've clicked that and now we have a PDF and we're going to have all the details about all the invoices that are on our consolidated invoice. So this is a great piece of information you can download or print to review. Now if we go back to our vendor invoice list, the next column is invoice. This is going to take us to the underlying vendor invoice individually. Here we can review all the details of the vendor invoice, the facility, provider, the amount billed. We can go down and double click the attached PDF for the invoice and review it. And if we decide it's not okay, we can click the remove approval button and remove the approval for the invoice. Now that we've looked at an approved and consolidated invoice, let's look at how an invoice would get there. So I'm going to go back to my home screen and go to the invoice activity page. This will show us a list of invoices that are related to our facilities. So as this loads up, we can see at the top we have an invoice in the submitted status. This is an invoice that has been sent to us but has not been responded to yet, so it's a great example. So again, we're viewing a vendor invoice that has been submitted to a facility for a provider. This has not been approved or consolidated yet, but if we click the approve button and put in our password, that will move it to approved and consolidated status. And this invoice will now be queued up for the next consolidated invoice. We can view that by clicking Administration, Billing, and now we can see that at the very top of our vendor invoice list, we have one invoice pending for the next consolidated cycle. Now we can look at the consolidated invoice screen. This is going to show us all of our consolidated invoices. If we click the plus button, it'll show us underneath all the vendor invoices that are on that individual consolidated invoice. Additionally, we have two buttons under Action. The first one shows you a PDF of the consolidated invoice, and the second one is the payment button. The payment button is only necessary if you opt out of automatic payments. That concludes our introductory look at consolidated billing on LocumSmart. If you have any questions, please click the chat button in the top right corner of the site or email us at support at locumsmart.net. Thanks, and we look forward to hearing from you.